Good morning, guys. It is day 32 of getting my crap straight. I've not done a video in a couple weeks. And to be honest with you, I did one on Memorial Day. We went on a little nature hike and I never did post it. Um, and then shortly after that, I had uh, misplaced my camera that I used for this. It's a little Sony action camera. And between me finding it a few days later, I just hadn't uh, got any feedback. Nobody asking about the videos. So, to be honest, I'm not putting it on anybody, but I was a little discouraged because I was like, well, what am I doing these for? Nobody cares. Nobody's watching them, evidently. Uh, nobody's asking about where's the next video. And then last night, uh, I was talking to one of my best friends, Lucas, and, uh, and I mentioned that to him. And it made me think, I was like, you know, again, in the videos, I do this hoping it may help somebody but a big part of it is my accountability. And uh, because when I'm doing these videos, it makes me stay on track and keep doing the program. So that's the reason I've started it back up. Um, like I said, it is day 32, so I've not stopped doing it. I'm still doing it. And uh, I have uh, hit a pretty tough plateau where the gains are very minimal right now. Um, at least it feels like it. And so, and again, I think a lot of that's because I'm putting too much into weight. So I've actually ordered a product uh, to do a more accurate testing of body compensation. Or, uh, and so I can see exactly how much fat, how much water, blah, blah, blah. So I can get a better, um, snapshot of my progress so that should be here any day um, and I've also trained up I mean changed up my running regimen I'm actually going to hit training instead of just uh, endurance running I basically <clears throat> was in the last week of the 5k app the other day I ran it was I think it was 25 minutes straight running and I did it. It was fine. Um, but let me change over to HIT. If you're not familiar with HIT, it's high intensity interval training. And so this morning, instead of just running for 25, I think it was supposed to be 28 minutes of distance running, I'm actually getting a warm up in and I'm going to be doing sprints. So I'm going to sprint for like 30 seconds. And then walk for a minute or two and then sprint 30 seconds walk for a minute or two sprint 30 seconds high intensity stuff instead of just casually running i'm gonna be just gutting it out and going as hard as i can for 30 seconds and then taking a breather and gathering myself and then hard as i can just absolutely uh killing myself for 30 seconds basically <laughs> sprinting but for me I'm actually more acclimated for this because I actually enjoy sprinting over distance running. I, I like to take off and run as hard as I can. But again, I can only do it for so long as anybody. So 30 seconds I think will be a good starting point to sprint. And I'm actually going to go down from my neighborhood to, there's an old industrial lot down here that's vacant that's just all grassed over. And I'm actually going to run on that because I don't want to do it on pavement. Because uh, anytime you're sprinting, you're, you take a chance of falling. And I'm trying to avoid mechanical injury. So I'm actually going to do it in the grass. And uh, we'll see how it goes. And I may jump back in and uh, show you guys one of the intervals. And, you know, uh, what I've done a lot of research. I mean, uh, since I've been on this diet, I've been kind of a junkie about uh, watching so many different videos and uh, all these trainers different opinions on how to get in shape and one video I saw about HIT uh, as compared to cardio doing general cardio 
you know, of course you're you're peaking your 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 jumping your metabolism while you're exercising and then that that will stay with you especially doing it early in the morning it'll stay with you throughout the day and general cardio can stay with you maybe six according to how hard you go maybe even 10 hours but uh, some of the research suggests that with HIIT training high intensity interval training it can stay with you for 36 hours after the exercise so that's what I'm going to try out today and see how I feel from it and, uh, and go from there. So I hope you're along for the ride and uh, let's do this. Let's get our crap straight. All right, see you guys in a few. Alright, so, sorry, I don't know if to talk nearly as well, because <clears throat> obviously with these, whew, you're gassing yourself out, and, uh, but that's the general idea, I went to go do it in the grass, it's too wet, so I'm having to risk it out here, and, uh, so, I'm doing, I don't know if you can see that or not. 30 second sprint with two minute intervals. I only have a minute before I gotta start back up. It's all about just putting out everything you have to the maximum in short burst and really pushing that heart, getting it going, and then as little rest as possible. Right now, two is good for me. Allows me to. To get my crap back together so I can get ready to give it a, another hard run. So, this is been doing this for 10 minutes, that's about halfway. I'm gonna try to do it for 20 total. I think it's gonna be eight intervals or so, but that's what we're doing. If you have any questions about it, want some information about it. Hit me up, come over to our group, get my crap straight. I gotta go. All right, guys, so I just wrapped up my, uh, my, sorry, I got my headphones. Wrapped up my first morning of hip training and uh, it kicked my butt, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, but I checked my heart rate. And my heart rate was up above 160, which is well over, well, pushing triple my normal heart rate. I'm normally right around 60. And so I got up over 160. I didn't get to 180, but which would be triple it. But 160 is definitely in that high intensity area. During my casual runs, I wasn't hitting that. So it's good. I can feel the blood flowing. I'm well alert and uh, ready to start the day. So get out there and try some of the sprinting if you're able. If not, just get out there and walk. You gotta start somewhere. So hit me up and uh, let's do this. Let's get our crap straight. We'll see you soon.